Welcome back, tribe. I have another soft guy era where TikTok chicks are just absolutely losing their minds at men holding up a mirror to their toxic behavior. Equality, right, sis? What are you going to withhold from women in any meaningful way that is going to force us to meet your conditions and demands? Baby, I've been off of social media for two weeks. Two weeks. And I come back and y'all talking about drizzle, drizzle. Soft guy era. <laughs> I blame you sprinkle, sprinkle woman. <laughs> That's who I blame for this. Absolutely. Y'all think that y'all can go to the complete opposite end of the spectrum. You can be in the far right or the far left and not expect men to follow. Mm. Ladies, I want you to understand something. Understand something very, very quickly. Men follow the trends of women. And I wish that if you understood this, that you would know how powerful a woman really is. When women started getting this super independent, I don't need no man mentality. What do men do? They started acting like that women didn't need no man, right? Mm. Of course, I'm not talking about all men. I'm just talking about the men who fall into that category. And you are I-N-D-E-P-E-N-D-E-N-T, right? When you started doing all of that, what did the men do? They started getting a little bit sassier. <laughs> they started getting a little bit more feminine. And again, yep. that's because men follow the trends of women. So when you get to the point of... What she's saying is actually pretty true. Women do drive culture, believe it or not. Some of the most super masculine, hardiest cultures ever think Sparta and stuff were driven because women expected hyper masculinity out of their men. I mean, they had a saying in Sparta with your shield or on it when the men went to war, either you come back dead on your shield or come back with it, a victor. There's no retreating. So when women demand those kinds of standards of men, men will rise up and meet the standards. Women have zero standards for themselves when it comes to dating today. They literally go over to a guy's house to get pumped and dumped over hookah and chill because he's attractive on tinder so men have lowered themselves to those standards to get laid it, it is what it is look if you don't believe this look in the animal kingdom the male species of any animal competes with other males in order to reproduce and that's what it is a, a man's life is competition to prove himself worthy to a woman to reproduce. That's really what it is. Now you tack on a little bit more complexity of human society and women now need to make themselves valuable in a man's eyes for long term for commitment. She has to learn how to keep a man interested. But the premise, the biological premise is the same. When women demand more of men, men will reach up and meet the demands. So in a roundabout way, women only have themselves to blame for all this. When you breed nothing but weak men, when you demand femininity out of men and they give you what you want and now you hate it, it's your fault. When your tribe is about to get invaded by the other ones that are far more masculine, it's your fault you're going to get taken as a slave and turned into an oven to produce more kids for those guys. When the barbarians are at the gates, you're going to wish you had real men left. Nope. Instead, you got lulled in a false sense of security by the peace we've had recently, which has made you raise weak men, coddle your young boys. To the point where finding masculine man's man is hard to do these days. And now you're living with those consequences. You demonized the very thing that was protecting you for so long. That had given you so many unspoken rights. So many benefits that were understood at a societal level. Didn't need to be written down in laws. And now you've eroded all of those away. Yep. Now you're more likely to just walk down the street. And have some crazed lunatic punch you in the face and nobody is going to jump in to help you. 50, 60 years ago, things that are happening today would have been unheard of in those times. You put your hands on a woman and attack her in public with other men around, you were beaten half to death. By the time the police got there, they would have cuffed your ass bleeding in a puddle, patted everybody else on the back. And there would be news headlines saying, attacker viciously beat, assaulting a woman, men step in, save the day, things like that. Now you get arrested. You choke a dude out on a train acting crazy. Why'd you do that? You patriarchal pig. You choked him a little too hard. Why'd you beat that guy up? Why'd you beat that dude holding a knife? You punched him a bit too many times. Wasn't that excessive force? And now your name is dragged through the mud in public spaces and you're facing trials for being a good Samaritan. You helped build this world with your gynocracy. Live in it. I'm talking about sprinkle, sprinkle. Mm -hmm. And using men for money and not loving them, right? And not wanting to have actual relationship with them, but them just taking care of you, them just tricking on you, essentially. What did you think was going to happen? They were going to follow the trend. Ladies, I wish you understood that if you wanted men to act a certain type of way, that you have the power to control that. And that's all I got to say about this. Y'all be safe. Okay, in terms of the whole drizzle drizzle thing, it's not even worth acknowledging because it's just like, it's an insult to my intelligence to acknowledge it. 
But something I keep thinking about, and it just pleases me so, it's not like this yet, but this is the world that I dream of. I dream of a world where women have the power that men have, where we are the people who make up the majority of office. We make up the majority of political positions, make up the majority of CEOs, make up the majority of people in finance. We're the ones who have all the power in society. I would love to be in. Pause. Just listen right there. We have all the power in society. Great. You admitted it. And who's driving this then? You, because you have the power. So who's responsible for the horrendous dating culture, marriage statistics, mental health issues, crime rates, corruption, everything going on, inflation, all that. If you have all the power, it's your fault. You're responsible. You're accountable for everything. Good. Sounds like you need to put men back in charge. In my 50s and my 60s and dating guys in their 20s, just so they can like sit around and look pretty and I have the resources and I give them the resources at my leisure. And they're just around to make me look good in social environments. And they have my arms and they make me feel young. I I love the idea of that world. We're not there yet. If y'all think you're going to get beautiful young women to shower you in gifts, no, no. That's just not the way the world works right now. But you guys are more than welcome to go get yourselves a sugar mama. In the meantime, I think women... The young women should either be dating men who give them resources and provide for them, or they should be alone in, in running for office, um, g- getting into finance, getting their finances in order, starting businesses. So in 30, 40 years, we can have the upper hand and then we can drizzle, drizzle something on y'all if y'all cute enough. How about that? And as long as y'all talking about some drizzle, drizzle and making your little TikToks or whatever you're doing instead of hitting gym clocking the fuck in you're going to be losing this race you're going to be falling behind and- wait until she realizes that once a man gets passport and leaves he's going to forget about the west entirely sorry sis but we're in a global dating market and you can't compete with foreign women you just don't even know it yet unfortunately for you and you're already very behind you're behind and you had a head start so i suggest you log off and clock in Okay, Drizzle Drizzle came from the Sprinkle Sprinkle lady that was a a while back. Like, she would basically, her expectations of what she wanted to do when she was dating, like, you're not going to take me to just normal restaurant. You need to take me to a high-end restaurant, Sprinkle Sprinkle. Um, You know, you're going to open car doors for me, Sprinkle Sprinkle. So it was, that's where the Drizzle Drizzle came from. And it basically started. And by the way, that chick is a single mother from what I've been told and has a dysfunctional relationship at home. I don't know if that's correct, but somebody tell me about the situation in the comments of Sprinkle Sprinkle Lady, because this is the one with high demands, but apparently your own personal life is messed up. I think, don't know, correct me in the comments. From one of these incel alpha dudes. And so they start- We're just throwing terms around, incel alpha dudes. Incel alpha. Okay. Started making all of these videos that is like women are going to, you know, I'm not going to pay for dinner. (laughs) Drizzle, drizzle. I'm not (laughs) going to open doors for you. Women are going to come to me. Women are going to come to my house. So they kind of, you know, kind of redid the whole sprinkle, sprinkle thing and use drizzle, drizzle. Okay. And, you know, women, of course, went into the comment sections because the whole point of, you know, this behavior from men is why women are rejecting men, why the whole 4B thing is. You know, these were the men that were using these behaviors and saying these nasty things to women are the whole reason why we're in this situation. Can someone tell me in the comments what 4B is? By the way, I also don't know what that is. So they think that it was a real gotcha because, you know, they saw that women were reacting the same way that men were reacting to sprinkle, sprinkle, Mm. not realizing that it's because women were reacting that way because this is the behavior. These are the types of things that men have always done. They've always treated us with disrespect. So it's all of the like kind of incels, alpha guys that think it's a real gotcha. You know, like, I showed you, didn't I? I showed you. When, you know, women are like, well, you know, it was a good joke. It was, it was, it was a good joke. And, you know, most other men are like, you know, you just look ridiculous and pathetic, but, um, you know, good joke. All right. You know, everyone's like, good joke. 
you know, congrats, you you pulled one over. Uh, but it's the the men that are telling themselves like what masters of the universe they are because they were able to, you know, get women to, you know, react to them or whatever it is they think they have. And now oh, they boy. just assume that any woman who comes in and still reacts to their drizzle drizzle, we're all like so broke women. We're all women that don't have men. We're all unmarried women. We're all single moms. We're all, you know, we're all the things that they would say. <clears throat> so it actually was just a funny little joke, but they have really told themselves that they are masters of the universe and that they, they did a thing. And, but even the simple fact that most people in my comments will go, what is drizzle drizzle? I don't never even heard of drizzle drizzle is the simple fact that it really wasn't a thing. And they actually do look pretty pathetic instead of just saying, ha, we got a joke. We got a joke on you. We got one over on you. They are, be they will come back and say, yeah, it's all the women that are just pathetic, you know, like treat us the same way that they were treating us for the reason that we did reject men and are having the 4B movement. It just single moms broke and unmarried, but it's kind of funny how riled up they get when their own logic gets flipped on them. To the men out there, if you're unable to put some money in my hand, what is your purpose? Like, why are you trying to approach me if you're not trying to make my life better? Drizzle, drizzle. If you're not trying to pay my rent, what is your purpose in talking to me? Okay. Why do you want to talk to me if your first answer is what bills do you need? What is your car note due? How much is your rent? Okay. Take me to Rodeo and let me spend whatever I want. If that's not your purpose, why are you trying to approach me? Drizzle, drizzle. Okay. If you don't want to put gas in my car, pay for my lunch, keep it moving because there's other men that will drizzle, drizzle. And that's exactly the problem right there. She just spilled it out for us. There's other men that will. This is why they behave in the way they do. And this is why we're dealing with all the problems we're dealing with today. They're spoiled and entitled because there's men with absolutely zero self-respect that can and will spend all their money and ask for nothing in return and get used as pay pigs and simps and walking wallets. That's the reality clueless about the shift happening around her. It's the soft guy era, and she's missing the memo. No matter what men do, women find something to complain about. The dating scene is evolving, and it's not about depending on men anymore. Women are making money, and men expect them to invest in the relationship just like men do. Men are stepping into their own paths, and suddenly everyone's up in arms about it. Now let's see what the comment says. Yeah, <laughs> remember, Kings, that she can't handle you at your softest, that she doesn't deserve you at your hardest. <laughs> drizzle, drizzle. I'm a strong, independent man and don't need no woman. I'm financially secure. I never have to work a day in my life. But my money is my money and your money is my money. Drizzle, drizzle. The ladies, we're making fun of you. You don't get it. I'm in my soft guy era. Drizzle, drizzle. No dusty, broke woman. Passport bros, take care of yourself. Says so these women's reactions is exactly why drizzle, drizzle is hilarious. And showcase yet again... They haven't got a clue about how men think, nor do they care to understand. Women want all the power and advantages, but they will not date men beneath these positions. How's that going to work out, ladies? And this one says, so men have gotten tired of having their quality of life stripped to boost her quality of life. Yep, women cost money. And men today are tired of paying. 